After the earliest COVID-19 lockdowns in 2020, real estate exertion and prices blew up across the globe, with wild demand extensively outmatching supply throughout 2021. And while experts aren't presently predicting anything resembling a bubble burst, many buyers like to feel that they're buying at the absolute top of a hot market or at prices that aren't sustainable. In today's video, we're going to talk about the housing market scenario in 2021. But before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon to never miss an update. Before the pandemic, the housing market was remarkably strong. The coronavirus crisis response was unaccustomed. The federal government ordered a de facto lockdown of the whole private economy, closing in around 80% of companies. It has caused joblessness to soar to at least 10%, while tens of millions are idled. We're now in a period where we can compare housing trends against the early days of the pandemic, when the real estate market was mainly halted. Back in March of last year, the real estate market appeared to be headed into a steep decline due to wide stay-at-home orders. Since then, home buyers, supported by low interest rates, have kept the U.S. housing market afloat. The epidemic has clearly affected every sector, but the residential real estate market has been truly flexible and it continues to be a pillar of support for the economy. The housing market bounced back in 2020 much faster than other sectors of the economy and has sustained that growth and pace into 2021. The reason these 2022 housing predictions vary so much can be attributed to two big unknowns that impend over the market. The first of those is a combination of supply chain straits, material price hikes, and labor shortages that threatens the cling back home building. In a historically tight COVID-19, every single new home is critical. However, we simply will not be capable to dig out of the supply and demand mismatch that is driving figures higher if home building slows. Still, that uncertainty pales in comparison to the threat posed by shifting mortgage rates. At the onset of the pandemic, the federal government helped to drive rates lower as a way to incentivize borrowing. It worked historically low mortgage rates combined with the demographic surge of first-time millennial homebuyers helped to set the housing market ablaze. But now, inflation fears have translated into the Federal Reserve upping rates. It could lock some buyers out of the market altogether and bring market cooling. The Federal Reserve has announced it'll take action to reduce inflation. The good news is that the Federal Reserve now recognizes that insistent high inflation threatens to overshadow the prospects for real profitable growth. The bad news is that the Fed plans to continue buying Treasury debt and mortgage-backed securities while keeping interest rates near zero until mid-March and pave the way for three-quarter percentage point interest rate hikes by the end of 2022 as the economy nears full employment and the U.S. Central Bank copes with the wave of inflation. Even if rates continue to rise, there's simply not enough supply for demand to crash. Fannie Mae's 2022 outlook noted a severe shortage of homes for sale, which are limiting interest rate effects on home deals and home prices of housing stock. Not only is supply so tight that prices will still appreciate even with a drop in demand, but historically speaking, 3.3% mortgage rates are still truly low and relatively enticing. The constituents for an unforeseen housing market crash aren't in place, but it does appear that conditions are ripe for demand and prices to ease down gently throughout the coming year. So that's all for today's video. Let us know your views in the comment section below. And don't forget to like this video before leaving. Thanks for watching.